What's going on guys, Spark Millie here, and today I'm here to show you how to download the extended camera mod on your Motorsport Manager game. Okay, so this is the mod that is actually recommended you install after you download the F1 Manager 2020 mod. If you'd like to know how to download that, I did a video on that yesterday, so I'll put that in the top right right now, and it'll be in the description as well. Okay, so first off, you are going to need a little program called WinRAR. This page will be in the description below. Just click on the link and download whatever setup suits you, like the bit of your computer and the language, and then we can continue on with the installation. Okay, now you're going to need the Unity Mod Manager to help install the mod. The link to this will of course be in the description below along with the mod. And just hit download here in the top right. It should say manual. Now you will need a free account to make this. But yeah, like I said, it is completely free. So just sign up to Nexus Mods. Um, and you can get premium if you want or if you already have it. You can get a fast download. But we're just going to go slow download. And that will download. And I'll be with you when this download is done. Okay, so my Unity Mod Manager has just completed downloading. I've moved it to my desktop just to make it a bit easier to see. Um, it does come in WinRAR. Hence why we downloaded WinRAR and installed it on our PC if we didn't already have it. So you just want to right click on it and go extract files. Just to give us a normal folder. Just hit OK and it should pop up right here. And as you see there, it comes up in a normal folder. So now we're just going to open that normal folder up. It comes up with just another Unity Mod Manager. Click on that. And there's a bunch of application files here. We're going to go in Unity Mod Manager, not Unity Mod Manager dash net 35 or net 45, just a normal one. Double click on it and select Motorsport Manager. I've already opened it up once, but for you, it would probably be a dance of fire and ice. Just open it up, find Motorsport Manager in the list. And then we're now we're going to need to go to our Motorsport Manager directory. Okay, so if you have no idea where your Motorsport Manager directory is, I'll quickly show you how to find it. So if you go on your Steam library and on the left here, you should see Motorsport Manager in your list of games. Right click on it and go to the bottom option properties. And then there should be a bunch of options here on the left and go local files, the third one down. And then just hit browse. Alright, so up there is the path. So this PC, new volume, Steam games, Steam apps, common Motorsport Manager. So now we know where to look. So if we go files, go this PC, and go new volume, and then common, and then find Motorsport Manager. That is basically a rundown. If you have no idea where directory is, that is where it is. So then just select Motorsport Manager and hit OK. And there you go. It's been found. Okay, now that we've found our folder, we can just hit install. And as you see there, installation was successful. So if you selected the right folder, it will download perfectly and work as should. Okay, so next up, I'm going to want to install the actual mod. So we've installed the mod manager. Now we're going to download the mod extended camera. So just at the top right here on Nexus Mods again. Again, this will be in the description. Just hit manual download and it will navigate you to this slow download, fast download. It's 7 kilobytes, so slow download would be instant anyway. Uh, I think fast downloads more for your bigger mods for other games. But anyway, download it now and we'll move on to how to install it. Okay, so once you've downloaded the extended camera mod, we want to go back to the Unity Mod Manager and go on to this Mods tab. Now this box will be empty for you. I've just had to mess around with it a little bit just for this tutorial. But all you got to do is get this extracted, uh, this unextracted folder, sorry, and just drag it in there, because there's drop zip files here. Okay, so once you've dragged it in, that is the mod installed. So now we're gonna jump into our Motorsport Manager game and have a look. Okay, so when we boot up our game, it comes up straight away with Mod Manager, and then you can tell if it works, it said Extended Camera on status green light it's all installed and ready to go so i'm going to jump to a single race and we're going to have a look okay so i've just built up a single race here in melbourne with quotation marks um i was using the f1 2020 mod again in the description if you want to install it but it's got all the f1 2020 drivers and cars and liveries so it's pretty sick and i see here we get all up close and personal with the drivers i've selected ferrari because i am just wrapped up a rebuilding Ferrari save as well. If you want to check that out, have a look in the top right right now. Unfortunately, I didn't utilize this mod. I wish I did. But I've put the controls for the mod on the screen now. They're also on the page of where you download it. So X is free camera. So as you see there, we can just sort of do our own thing. It's pretty cool. You can get some shots. Speaking of some shots, you can press H and it hides the HUD. So that, that looks pretty spectacular, really. Um, and then just press X again if you want to ride on board a car. 
So we're on with Sebastian Vettel here, but obviously we can select any car. So we can go on with Danny Ricciardo. He's up in P3, having a, a whale of a time up there. But um, yeah, so you can go C for sticky camera. I'm not really sure what that does yet. Uh, I've never used this mod before, but it's a sick mod, and I highly recommend you use it. It's a bit weird that the tires don't move, but I guess because the game, I mean, obviously that's a game thing, not a mod thing. That's just because they probably don't expect you to get this close. But yeah, it's a sick mod. I highly recommend it. Obviously, it's recommended by the F1 2020 mod creator. So yeah, I hope this installation helps you guys out. If it did, please make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more Motorsport Manager content. It helps the channel out heaps when you like and comment. And don't, don't be shy to leave any feedback or questions down in the comments as well. And I'd just like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.